Ms. Aguirre, these are your daughters. Tell me your first name. Candelaria. And how old are you? I'm 30. How long have you lived at home? I've lived with her for some time. For what does some time mean? For how long have you lived with your mom? For at least 10 years. And where did you live before that? Well, I've lived with her ever since high school. Who did you live with growing up? I lived with her until my, well, my, par my parents got divorced and then we moved to California. Who moved to California? Me, my mom, and my two sisters. Let's start again. Have you always lived with yes. your mother? So you always lived with your mother? Yes. Do you work? Yes. Who do you work for? I work at Walmart. Who did you work for when you lived in your mother's house? I worked for the Walmart in California. How long have you been a Walmart employee? Since January of this year. Before that, where did you work? I worked at Kmart until they closed. And how old are you? 19. And have you always lived with your mother? Yes, I have. Do the two of you share a room? Yes. In your mom's house? Yes, for part of the time. And where the other part? I, we shared a room and then we got separate rooms when my older sister moved out. When you moved out this last time, the two of you moved out together? Yes, we did. Did you have one room or two separate rooms? Two separate rooms. Did you go to school or were you working? I went to school. On what date did you move out? We moved out on the 22nd of April of this year. Both of you? Yes. And your case is about the fact that they left their rooms a disaster? Yes. Yeah, that, I mean, if it'll make you feel better, you can describe it to me. Parents don't get compensated for that. Um, but it wasn't just a disaster. I don't care if it was a disaster. I don't care if they painted unicorns on the wall. <laughs> Otherwise, courts would be very overwhelmed. Do you understand? Yes. They moved out, left their rooms a disaster, more than a disaster, painted the walls different colors, did whatever they could to make it homey for them. But they moved out because they evidently each found a Prince Charming. Are these your Prince Charmings? Yes, yes. they are. <laughs> and where did you meet your Prince Charming? They've been friends. We met them because Rachel's known Donald for two years, and we used to go online with them, and that's how we met them. You met them online? Yes. Which one belongs to you? <laughs> what does he do? He works at GameStop. At where? GameStop. When did you first meet him? In person. In person? In March. March of this year? Yes. March what? It was about March, when was it reach? Like the 20th. March 20th. So you knew him four weeks and then you decided to move out of your mother's home. I've known him a lot, but... You met him for the first yes. time and four weeks later you decided to move out. Do you live with him now? Yes. Where? We have an apartment in Midland, Texas. So you moved with him to Texas? Yes. And your Prince Charming does what? He works at Target. And where does he live? With us at the apartment in Midland, Texas. You live near your sister? We share an apartment. How were you introduced to him? I met him two years ago. Online? Online. We would play at spots together. Well, I understand you met online, but they clearly know each other. Yes. Before they came to meet you? Yes, they've been... They knew each other? They've been friends for a couple of years. How old is he? He's 24. Since you moved to Texas, and you two moved four weeks, I read the papers, you came home, you wanted to introduce them to your mother, she wasn't happy, you said, we're moving to Texas. Is that how it happened? Yes. I have to tell you, in all honesty, I wouldn't be happy either. Do you understand? Yes. Wouldn't be happy either, I would say, you know. My daughter's been living with me for 30 years, and she meets somebody online, and four weeks later, she's moving out of state, to live with them. I have a teenage daughter who's also moving out of state and I don't know anything about these people.